So I have a few little just short kind of, um, I guess, I don't know, professional professional skills type stuff to talk about. Um, you know, from the a continuing series of lectures, I like to call things I wish to have learned, I learned in school but didn't. Uh, and basically, um, topic number one is documentation, documentation, documentation. So um, if you look very, very closely, you may notice that my phone is sitting right there. And it happens to be photographing me while I speak. Why would I want to make a video of me running my mouth? Well, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't. But when I have something kind of, I don't know, important that I'd like to share or something, sometimes I like to make a video of it and put it up on my website and all that good stuff because it's documentation. It's catching me being professional in a professional setting. <laughs> And at least in my experience, usually when it comes to documentation, I'm like so fried from finishing the project that I just don't even want to think about it and then falls by the wayside and just doesn't happen. Uh, but I am here to tell you that documentation is so totally worth it because, you know, we talked about portfolio. We talked about how, you know, when we're making portfolios, uh, particularly when we're kind of starting out, it's important to follow a narrative or to present a narrative and, you know, kind of say, well, this is what I know and I came to learn it at Illinois Wesleyan University and in this project, you know, this was the problem I had and I did this research and solved it and here's kind of a representation of the process of me designing this logo, you know, this is step one, step two, step three. Uh, but, you know, as your career kind of continues, and uh, regardless of whether you are in graphic design or the arts or whatever, you know, chances are you're probably going to be asked by somebody to go give a presentation on something sometime. And that makes you look really cool in terms of being a professional. That's how people say things like, ooh, that person really knows what they're talking about. And believe it or not, that actually spreads far and wide, like doubly far and wide now that have, you know, the wonders of social media. So, I mean, you never know when you're going to be kind of caught by somebody who's going to give you your next job. And when you have a lot of documentation, then it's very easy to say, oh yeah, I did one of those, I did one of those, I made that work, uh, you know. And if you're going out for a teaching position, which, I don't know, that might be where life takes you, then you can kind of say, oh, well, here's an example of how I am in the classroom. Here's me sharing information with students. Um, and if you're very lucky, maybe it'll become like some kind of viral meme and you'll get famous. I don't know. Um, but sub, uh, uh, sub uh, point to the documentation discussion. Um, now that we all have smartphones, make sure you got your portfolio on your smartphone. I mean, make sure that you have not only your portfolio work on your smartphone, but you also have it neatly organized so you can bring it up in like a second or two taps of your thumb. Because again, you never know when you might have to give an elevator pitch to some random person. We all know what I mean when I say elevator pitch. You know, you have 30 seconds with somebody who's really huge in the industry. You gotta have that down. And you gotta be able to say, oh, well, you know, I just was working on this project and, you know, I did this, that, and the other. And again, it's like, it's how you get jobs. Being able to prove that you're capable of doing the work in, in a way that nobody can really argue and is pretty much like right in front of your face is totally the key to, to basically maintain employment. Uh, and also, you know, networking, which brings me to my second professional uh, type things I wish people told me in school. When you are out and about, talk shop. When you are with your family, talk shop. When you are with your friends, talk shop. Especially when you're with colleagues, definitely talk shop. Why? Because that's kind of how 
professionals continue to learn outside of a school environment. And this isn't limited to just like, you know, going over to somebody's house or doing another kind of, you know, going to a meeting, being part of AIGA. I'm also talking about like talk shop on Facebook, talk shop on Twitter, talk shop on wherever you want to, you know, where, what, on your social media outlet of choice. Because when you kind of keep talking shop, even though probably everybody but your colleagues is going to kind of roll their eyes and be like, oh, here we go with the net nerdy graphic design talk again. But you are maintaining your personal kind of brand as such in front of everybody you know. And if you have, you know, your personal brand set up as I am a super competent professional, then and, and you maintain that, then your friends kind of start thinking, oh yeah, you know, that person really does talk about their job a lot. And I mean, like they, you know, know a lot of stuff. Hmm. And then maybe they know somebody who knows somebody and all of a sudden you're, you know, working, doing graphic design and living, living, living happily ever after. Uh, so, you know, I mean, the, the sub part of, of networking is that when you talk shop, you are kind of saying to people, look how competent I am. I'm talking about stuff you've never even heard of. And when you're talking shop with other professionals, well, that's kind of how you learn to be a better professional. Uh, for example, there is an entire stock and trade online. Um, Creative Cow would be a, a big example of a huge kind of message board for designers and, and video professionals and photographers and that sort of thing. But there is a huge trade in, in being able to pick up little tricks and hints to work faster. Why do we want to work faster? Well, you want to work faster because time is money. And the faster you work, the more you get done and the more money you make. <coughs> and so a lot of these kind of online resources and communities with designers and all those kind of folks usually are full of all kinds of little tips and hints and tricks about how to do anything. And, you know, Google is your friend because they can be, like, really annoyingly specific. Like, how do I make an array of circles kind of arranged in a circle? and uh, have them all be the same size and regular and properly arranged and not have to do that one by one. Well, there's a way of doing it, and you can ask your colleagues. Uh, the other thing is, is that if you are out talking shop with your colleagues, well, your colleagues are gonna be networked way deep in the industry. And if you are doing that similar kind of dialogue of, yeah, I'm really confident, I was just working on this, and you know, I learned that idea. Oh, you know, oh, really, you have this trick down? Like, you just have to, wow, that saves me like 20 minutes. That's fantastic, you know? And in the back of your head, you're like, wow, I just can make an extra 20 bucks an hour uh, by getting it done quickly. So, I guess my point is, is, you know, you have to be a member of your own professional community and you have to interact with that because, in general, it is a great way to find opportunities and it is a super easy way to find work where you don't have to do like a stack of packets this high and mail it out to every design group or anything that you could ever possibly work with. Uh, and then go through like eight interviews only to find out you didn't get, time, didn't get hired. Versus, oh yeah, I need a, a uh, somebody to take over on this project. Yeah, you know, you've been, you seem very competent. I've looked at your portfolio. How'd you like to try it out for six weeks? Yes, that's what we want. So, look for opportunities to network and show your competence. Have your ducks in a row in terms of documentation. And uh, if you put all that together, I'm I'm fairly confident that uh, we will all live happily ever after. So.